If you're thinking about becoming a real estate agent, I'm gonna give you some of the top skills that you're gonna need in order to be successful as a real estate agent, especially in this day and age. The first skill that you are gonna need is communication skills. Now, when I say that, immediately everybody's mind goes to, I don't know how to talk to people, I'm an introvert, I'm not extroverted. Well, look, none of that matters because you will have to talk to people. And I mean, you're gonna have to talk to people a lot. You're gonna have to talk to them on the phone, you're gonna have to talk to them at appointments and so no matter if you are extroverted or introverted just know you're gonna have to talk to people for instance i'm a very introverted person but most people would not know it because when i show up to do the job i show up it's like turning on a switch and you gotta perform if you want to be successful at this when i first got into the business i didn't know how to talk to people i didn't know the proper way of saying things and that's fine not everybody's gonna know you're not going to know all the terms. You're not going to know all the lingo. That is completely fine. As long as you can get to a place where you do know, then you'll be straight. Like you can't go on saying that I'm not this, I'm not that, I don't know this, I don't know that, and expect to be successful in this business. So communication is a big thing. The next skill that you're going to want to have is negotiation skills. Basically, you got to know what you need to do or say to get what you want. This goes for you and this goes for the client. So if you don't know how to negotiate, don't worry. The way that I learned was this book, it's called Never Split the Difference. I'll drop that link down here in the description, but that book was extremely helpful. Then I started watching YouTube videos on negotiation. When you are negotiating, it's not always about what you want and nobody else gets what they want. You gotta know how to make it a win-win situation because that's how you're gonna win negotiation. This is not something that they teach in school. I didn't learn this in high school or the little college that I did. And so it was one of those things that I had to learn on my own. As a matter of fact, the brokerages that I was at in the beginning didn't even teach negotiation skills. So if you can learn this and really get good at it, you can make a lot of sales. The next one is going to be market knowledge. So you got to be familiar with the product that you're trying to sell. It's just like working at any store. Let's say you were working at Best by in the camera section. If someone comes and asks you a question about the cameras, you wanna know what to tell them. You wanna know what recommendations to provide. You wanna know the specs of that camera. Same thing for computers. Like if you walk into the Apple store and you ask someone about a MacBook Pro, you're expecting them to tell you all the information about that MacBook Pro. When it comes to real estate, there's no difference. If someone is interested in buying or selling, they're gonna look to you as that market expert and they want to know everything that's going on in the market so you want to get familiar with that if you're not licensed yet a great way that you can start is just by driving around that's how i learned the market i had moved from atlanta to dallas texas to begin my real estate career and i didn't know anything i didn't know the streets i didn't know the different directions and the way that i got to know it was driving around getting lost learning my way around then i started looking at the home homes that were for sale. So previewing homes, reaching out to builders who were building homes in the area, attending open houses. All of this was ways that I was able to learn the market. Now, I know most markets like the back of my hand, but if you choose to be one of those agents who decide not to learn about the market, you're going to have a hard time being successful in this business. And another big thing that you're going to need to have as a skill, and this is probably the most important one, is is you gotta be tech savvy. Now, before you turn this video off, let me start by saying it's okay if you're not tech savvy right now, but that cannot be your excuse when you come into the business. You're gonna have to learn technology. You're gonna have to learn how to use a computer. You need to learn how to use a phone. You're gonna have to learn how to do things on the go. So that excuse of not being tech savvy, it's not gonna work. Pretty much everything we do in the business now, it's through technology. Even creating contracts, sending contracts, signing them, it's only a matter of time before closings happen through technology like it's all technology even the marketing a lot of the marketing is on social
social media. So you're gonna have to learn technology and you're gonna have to be tech savvy. Don't run away from it. It's just one of those things. So those are some major skills that you need to know coming into the real estate business. It's gonna help you be successful. Let me know down in the comments if there's any skills that you feel like I miss. For those of you who are real estate agents, put that down in the comments. And if you want more videos like this, telling you about the real estate business, saying the stuff that nobody's telling you, be sure to subscribe and turn that bell notifications on so that way you get notified when I release a new video. And hit that thumbs up if this video was helpful. Talk to you soon.